Yeah. Tori Mall with TYP and Mall Wellness Training, following up my friend's uh, warm up sequence and what your warm up sequence would look like. We look after taking care of some of the trigger points that insert into, say, the ankle joint and the knee joint. But what happens if I'm still not getting very good dorsiflexion or recruitment, or I'm still suffering from, say, things like shin splints, okay, or just tightness when I go to commit to movement, particularly when I'm lunging, jumping, changing direction? You want to get more calculated. So using something like this, wand of some sort this is a pretty elaborate one it doesn't have to be this intricate with the divots and the balls there uh, you would want to now attack said front fascia line and then get into more of that release technique throughout the tibialis posterior okay this is all responsible for the activation that you would have on the outside components of your ankle and the extension of that which would be your feet okay in relation to your knee tracking well and also your IT band activating so it's important that you're trying to release those tissues with this, because no doubtedly during your training regimen or during the, your lifetime, you've caused a lot of impact in these particular areas and you're not really restoring them. Mobility on itself won't necessarily restore it. You need to actually add some type of friction or some type of stimulation into the fascia that surround said muscle joint so they continue to stay tight, continue to cause some issues. So it's important that you're following this up with more calculated stuff especially if you do suffer from a lot of pain such as shin splints or just pain when you're making impact so this is a great exercise to kind of follow up and get a little bit more thorough than say just the trigger point reload that we had previously